Hey guys, welcome to Higan Iruthil. So we have here Sir Slit, uh, freshly pulled a while ago. And you've seen my luck. If you haven't seen that summon video, please take a look at that. Uh, starting off with her stats. So this is her advanced stats, basic and advanced stats. You have um, bonus attack speed, which I think uh, if you have an opportunity to increase, uh, is good because she is a hoplite. Also, try to increase her crit rate if you can, and also life steal. And also, bonus attack damage is actually going to be good. So, these stats, if you have, you know, if you have the means to increase, then please do it. Okay. AD is also, you know, nice to be increased. So, for her play, the play that is equipped is going to be Karota. Karota is increased AD by 32. Uh, increased damage dealt by basic attack by 20%. This is a 3-star play. You might be asking me, uh, Warden, what are the other plays that you will recommend to us? Okay, this is the basic one. I don't have any other plays to equip her, but let's go to the plays here. So we have here the plays, the pool play that, that I showed you guys so next um that's the th three star uh we don't have any other three star that i would recommend but we will have to go with uh, ooh, who's the other one uh this is no not lobelia uh found it a while ago it's a four star play okay yeah here it is here it is so we have phantom here one of also the four star plays that you know you could equip her it is it is good because it increases max hp by 10 percent and after casting skill or ultimate increase ad by 30 within five seconds this is also a good skill take note so Please note that um, you can use this for four star. The other one is also Eluda, which is increase AD by 10%, increase basic attack damage by 3% per second up to 10 stacks. All stacks will be will expire when changing your attack target. So these are the four stars that I'm recommending. We have here Phantom and we have here Eluda. As for the five stars, I am only... Um, Referring to, so this is it, the two-piece set. So increase M resistance, increase healing received. Upon receiving healing, the next three basic attack speed is increased by 10. And each of the next three basic attacks will grant the character three ultimate energy. The ultimate energy recharge effect and it triggered at most one time per second. This is actually nice. This is not really on damage. This is more on attack speed and generation of energy. But the one that I think you guys should be equipping her with is actually <laughs> herself. So Raul, so this is Sir Slit. Attack speed is increased by 30%, which is ridiculous. For the 3P set, after casting ultimate, basic attacks deal extra damage equal to 35% AD for 10 seconds and can be triggered at most one time every 0.5 seconds when it is a pyro character. So which is a, uh, she is a pyro. This effect changes to basic attack um, deal extra P damage equal to 65 instead of 35 AD one time and can be triggered at most one time every 0 0.3 seconds so this one raul is actually available in the banner right now uh for the play banner so if you want to equip this with sir slit then you have to pull all three in that banner okay so just want to recap here karota for three star phantom phantom Here's Phantom. Phantom here is for four. Uh, Eluda is also for four star. This one is Zhu. Swan is uh, five star. And the other one, the, the, the priority for her is going to, going to be Raul, which is five star. So those are the recommended plays for her. 
Okay, so next up is going to be skill priority. Okay, so the one that I'm mentioning is you, you can't change these, okay? But these two are actually interchangeable. Um, priority for me. Okay, so if you want to use this one, this one, she hurls her weapon with a bigger damage. This one, however, is going to give her damage mitigation, which is going to improve her survivability and she can tank a little bit for you so that is why i'm choosing this because she needs to be durable in the front line and if you want to make her stay there so this is actually the skill priority that i would want you guys to get next up is on the awaken side so the awaken tree okay so first one that you have a choice is actually phase three so the one that if you're choosing the damage mitigation you should choose this one if you chose of course the boomerang you choose the top one do not mix and match it won't work then for phase four this is a little bit trickier because again it really depends on what is your preference for her but if you want to deal early on a lot of damage, you have to get this one. Upon entering battle, gain 60% ultimate energy in which she can use her active, active skill as early as possible. Okay. Uh, sorry, not, 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 not active skill. Her ultimate skill as early as possible. So again, this one is going to deal a lot of damage early on. The other one is more on... This is more on uh, restoration being durable, uh, but you have damage mitigation already. So you will actually have to go with the ultimate energy. Okay, for phase five, just want to go ahead. Uh, most of you don't have copies yet. Oh, so do I. I only have one copy of her. So phase five, <clears throat> there are two options here. This one is for offense. It is, is gain of crit rate. Upon entering battle, gain crit rate, which de decays by 10% every 5 seconds. <clears throat> when HP falls below 50, increase damage mitigation by 20. So, I again, it's a toss-up. If you want her to be more of offensive, I choose the bottom. Defensive, I choose the top. And the last one is phase 6. Again, both of them, either you build her as offensive or defensive. <coughs> I think phase four, sorry, phase three is going to be good enough for damage mitigation. The rest of her phases, I suggest you choose more on the offensive side. It has to be a balance between both damage mitigation and um offense so this one should be offense the crit rate and this one should be crit damage here again it's really up to you these are my recommendations for her build at, at the top damage mitigation at the bottom would be crit rate and crit damage okay so let's go back to my roster so who does she work well with Again, she would work with units that give her AD buff, attack buff, or attack speed buff, or lifesteal buff. Those are the heroes that would really make her shine. At this point, she can be inserted in any, you know, in any roster. Um, not really a lot of conditions for her. Uh, for one example, I'd like to pair her with Rita because Rita increases her AD. As you can see here, there's a bonus AD to an ally with the highest AD. This effect lasts for 6 seconds. So again, uh, buffers will be Sir Slit's friend. So buff for AD, buff for attack buff, buff for attack speed, and also buff for lifesteal. So that is it. So for now, I'm just contented with using Karota as uh, the play for now. But eventually, I'll try to work my way to the higher tier plays that 
are in the game. So I might as well, you know, go through that banner for her weapon. But that would be another story. So thank you very much, guys, for staying this far. Take care, stay safe. This is the Warden, and I'm out of here.